Knowing the center of a set of data only gives you a partial picture of what's going on with the data. So in this video, I want to look at quartiles and percentiles, which are measures of position. These are used to locate the relative position of a data value in the data set. Let's start with the idea of quartiles. The quartiles divide the data into four equal pieces. And so we call the quartiles Q1, Q2, and Q3, since there are three of these. We have the number smaller than Q1, between Q1 and Q2, between Q2 and Q3, and larger than Q3. The first step to finding these quartiles is to sort the data. We then find the median of the data set, and the median is Q2. The median then breaks the data set up into two pieces. We find the median of the lower half of that, and that's known as Q1. We then find the median of the upper half, which is Q3. So let's look at an example. We have the data values 9, 5, 3, 10, 14, 6, 12, 7, and 14. The first step is to sort these from smallest to largest. So here I have them sorted. We know to find the median, we need to find the number in the middle, which is going to be this 9. It has four numbers below and four numbers above. So that tells me that Q2 is equal to 9. For Q1, I'm going to look at just this lower half, everything below the median of 9. 3, 5, 6, and 7. The median of this would be halfway between 5 and 6, or 5.5. And then for Q3, I'm going to look at just the upper half, everything above the 9. For that, we would find halfway between 12 and 14, which would be 13. So here are my quartiles. Let's do another one. This time I have the values 82, 90, 91, 92, 93, 93, 95, and 105. If I try to find the median, I can see that it's halfway between 92 and 93. So Q2 will be 92.5. For Q1, I then look at everything below that 92.5. We can see that would be halfway between 90 and 91, which is 90.5. And then Q3 needs everything above the median of 92.5. We can see that's halfway between 93 and 95, or 94. Next, I want to look at the idea of percentiles. Percentiles divide the data into 100 equal groups. And the percentile of a given data value tells you how much data is at or below that level. So let's say you took a standardized test like the SAT, and you learn that you scored in the 82nd percentile. That means 82% of people were at or below your level. Let's suppose we want to find the percentile of a given value x. To do that, we're going to look at the number of values below our value x plus 0 0.05 divided by the number of values. So let's look at an example. Here's the data set we had earlier. Let's suppose we want to find the percentile corresponding to the data value of 7. In order to find this, we start by finding all the values below 7. We have 5, 3, and 6. So there are three values below 7, plus 0 0.05 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 total values. That gives us 0.339, and we tend to round these to the nearest percent. So we would say 34%. The 7 corresponds to the 34th percentile. There are 34% of data at or below the value of 7. Next, let's go the other way. We want to know what value corresponds to the 60th percentile. So we know 0.6 
is equal to the number of values smaller plus 0.05 divided by the total number of values, which is 9. Multiplying both sides by 9, give us 5.4 is equal to the number of values less than plus 0.05. Dividing by 0.05, or subtracting by 0.05 gives us 5.35 is equal to the number of values smaller. So we can say there are five values smaller. So as we count up, here would be the first value, second, third, fourth, fifth. So there are five values smaller, so that would correspond to a value of 10. 10 would correspond to the 60th percentile in this particular data set.